Ever since King Kong first gave Fei Rei that unexpected lift to the top of the Empire State Building in 1933, Hollywood has gone ape, depicting the gorilla as perfect monster material. They seem to be forever typecast as the heavy. But the truth is, they're peaceful, family-oriented, plant-eating animals that live in complex social groups. They are the largest of all primates, the group of animals that includes monkeys, lemurs, orangutans, chimpanzees, and humans. No primate exceeds in size and magnificence to these animals. They are bigger than chimpanzees, orangutans, and gibbons. Therefore, they have the title of the largest primates in the world. Biologists recognize two species, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla, each of which has two subspecies. All gorilla species are listed as endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. The western lowland gorilla and the cross river gorilla, the two western gorilla subspecies, inhabit tropical rainforests in Cameroon, the Republic of the Congo, Gabon, and Equatorial Guinea. They also occur in a small portion of Nigeria, in the westernmost tip of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Eastern Gorillas, which include the Eastern Lowland Gorilla and the Mountain Gorilla, can be found along the eastern border of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Their range also includes parts of Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. The lowland subspecies live in rainforests, while the mountain species prefer higher elevation cloud forests. The largest of the great apes, gorillas are stocky animals with broad chests and shoulders, large, human-like hands, and small eyes set into hairless faces. Though the two types are very similar, they have a few differences. For example, mountain gorillas tend to have longer hair, whereas lowland gorillas have short, soft hair. Another difference is size. Lowland gorillas are 4 to 6 feet, or 1.2 to 1.8 meters tall, and weigh 150 to 400 pounds, or 68 to 181 kilograms. Mountain gorillas are about the same height, though they tend to weigh a bit more. They are 4 to 6 feet tall, and weigh 300 to 485 pounds, or 135 to 220 kilograms. Gorillas possess thick chests with wide shoulders and an abdomen that is pushed forward. Adults have long, heavily muscled arms that they use to help propel themselves on their knuckles. Gorillas are covered in black fur except for their faces, hands, and feet. Older males also have bare chests. Adult males develop gray or silver hairs in a saddle pattern on their lower back, which is why mature males are often referred to as silverbacks. Gorillas are herbivores and therefore only eat fruit and leaves. They do not hunt or eat other animals, but occasionally feed on small insects and termites. Diet varies between species mainly due to the availability of certain foods in different habitats. Some gorilla species can consume over 200 species of plants and fruit. An adult gorilla is capable of consuming 18 to 20 kilograms of food every day. Gorillas are generally peaceful, shy, and amiable unless threatened. However, males will stand erect and beat their chest with their fists in an attempt to intimidate or show off their strength. They growl loudly and become very dangerous when annoyed or attacked. Gorillas also demonstrate aggression by charging towards perceived intruders. They rarely hit the intruder though. Instead, they rush past and may charge again. Gorillas band together in groups of 5 to 15 individuals. A typical group consists of one dominant male, many adult females with their young. In some cases, a smaller pack of less dominant males will associate on the periphery of this core group. The dominant male, sometimes known as a silverback because of the age-related graying hair on its back, remains dominant until another male displaces him from his position. Displaced silverbacks typically lead a solitary life. Fighting plays an important role in the group hierarchy. It is common that a newly dominant male, after displacing the former dominant male, is likely to kill the infants in the group, thus returning all lactating females prematurely to reproductive cycling. In doing this, a male increases his chance to produce offspring, as his tenure as a dominant male is of unknown duration. 
to guard against potentially infanticidal males, a male's capacity to fight and ensure the survival of his progeny is unquestionably paramount to receptive females. Male gorillas are known to make a hooting sound as an alarm to all members of the group, each of whom becomes instantly alert. Groups may travel together for months and usually years at a time, but because of the abundance of food in the vicinity of their camps and their imposing size, little time and energy is typically devoted to travel. For these reasons, no terrestrial defense is exhibited and often ranges of neighboring groups overlap. Sadly, the greatest threat to these animals comes from humans. Exposure to disease, deforestation, trophy hunting, and even subsistence hunting to feed logging crews have all taken a terrible toll on the gorilla population. Since they share 98% of their DNA with humans, many of the diseases that affect our race are also faced by gorilla populations. That is why conservation efforts have focused on eliminating physical contact between humans and wild gorilla populations, as their immune systems can't handle the diseases that humans transmit. As everyone knows, gorillas are extremely strong animals and have amazing qualities. But can they cope in the Amazon rainforest? The Amazon rainforest covers an area of 7 million square kilometers and is the largest rainforest on Earth, stretching over nine countries. The Amazon rainforest has extremely high biodiversity and many species that have not yet been described. Estimations of the number of plant and animal species vary widely. According to a recent publication by the World Wildlife Fund, the Amazon rainforest contains about 427 mammal species, 1,294 bird species, 378 species of reptiles, 427 species of amphibians, and 3,000 species of fish. These are minimum figures, as new species are continuously being discovered. The biodiversity of plant species is the highest on Earth with one 2001 study finding a quarter square kilometer of Ecuadorian rainforests supports more than 1,100 tree species. A study in 1999 found one square kilometer of the Amazon rainforest can contain about 90,790 tons of living plants. To date, an estimated 438,000 species of plants of economic and social interest have been registered in the region with many more remaining to be discovered or cataloged. Competition for survival is fierce. This may explain why over millions of years of evolution, so many highly adaptable species have evolved in this biome. Assuming gorillas can eat Amazonian bamboo, which is an important part of the African gorilla diet, they may be able to survive. This also assumes that the various parasites bugs, and diseases native to the Amazon that gorillas don't see in Africa would not kill the gorillas. The thing that would be the biggest challenge to gorillas in the Amazon, though, would be jaguars. The biggest predator a gorilla encounters in its African jungle is the leopard. And while it is a fearsome killer and a serious threat to young apes, poses no threat to any silverback. A big leopard goes to about 150 pounds, so a 450-pound bull gorilla would tear apart any leopard crazy enough to commit suicide by attacking it. Jaguars, on the other hand, can weigh up to 300 pounds and average around 250. They are extremely powerful predators that gorillas aren't used to dealing with, while a leopard kills an antelope by choking it with a neck bite. A jaguar kills tapers and domestic cattle by biting them right through their skulls. Gorillas, with their thick hides and very short necks, have no weak points from the point of view of a leopard, whereas every part of a gorilla would be vulnerable to the far more powerful jaguar and its incredibly strong jaws and teeth. The most powerful of the big cats, a jaguar could kill the world's largest bull gorilla if it could successfully stalk it. Gorillas just wouldn't be prepared for jaguars, so while they could possibly survive, they would not thrive in jaguar territory. Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. Do you think gorillas would survive in the Amazon rainforest? We are waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.